What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute glutes and abs workout. We have three big circuits today with three exercises each. I want you to grab your glute bands and your box or a bench if you have them. We'll start off with a lateral step up move, but if you don't have the option to do a lateral step up, you can also just do straight forward or just that forward lunge with a knee drive at the top. We'll make it work for you with 45 seconds of work and three rounds of every exercise. So grab your water and your sweat towel and let's crush it. All right, let's go hands on your hips, reach and stand. Gonna get warmed up and we're gonna rock through some volume today. 45 second work periods, three rounds each, which means you're gonna have time for progressive overload. All right, step it back, let's kick it straight out. Give yourself time on this one as well. Let the hamstrings warm up, gradually just get a little higher. Now let's kick it up higher for two more each leg. Good job, last one each side. There you go, step wide, put your hands down in front, you're gonna bend left to right. Good job, take it over to just the right side. Open your chest, reach to the sky, get a good torso twist. Bring it back down, same thing on the other side. Head over to the left, open left arm to the sky. Good job, keep your hands there. Turn it over to that foot, back leg is straight. Drop your hip. Step back and switch. Good job, come on up to standing, forward and backwards. In 15 seconds, we're gonna go wide stance, Romanian deadlift. Okay, so a little sumo positioning. We've got one round of that, and then two exercises following in a circuit style. So let's start here. Two, one. Great work. Your tempo today, I want it to be moderate. So two seconds down, two seconds up. A little squeeze at the top as you dig your heels in. And try to rip your mat apart in the middle. Three, two, all right. Next exercise, you can either do lateral step up or lateral lunge. Okay, lateral step up. You're gonna hold the dumbbell here, up and down, okay? All right, let's go. Beautiful, and if you're not connecting with the lateral, just go forward. But I'm trying to shift your weight over into that top heel. Dig and stand. Fifteen. Beautiful. Five. Two. Breathe. Same thing, just go into the other side. Okay, those are three exercises that we're gonna cycle through three times in this first circuit. Okay, if you're not stepping up, you're going lateral lunge to stand. Let's go. And like I said, if the lateral step up isn't working for you, just go straight forward. Totally fine. Perfect. 
And throughout these next two rounds, I want you to try and swing less. Depend a lot more on just this one leg. Five. And breathe. Good, now go up if you can. Wide stance, deadlift. Ready? Five. Two. Let's go. Good job. You don't need to go any further with your hips than hips right under your ribs. That's it, seven. And breathe. All right, let's go, stepping it up. Okay, I've got my left leg going up first. As you shift the weight, try to keep it right over your heel. Okay, two, one. Another thing to remember, don't let your knee kind of stay in here as you step up. Okay, step up, knee and heel stay out. You drive your hips right up. Beautiful, 15. Five. Breathe, good job. Taking it to the other side. Grab water, winning if you need it. All right, second leg. Two, let's go. Lots of balance work here. So core's turned on, getting ready for the circuit after this one. Good reps. Don't get sloppy. Five. Let's go one more together. Two. Breathe. That's it. All right, round three, come on. Wide stance. I need you to feel this in the back of your legs. Ready? Two. Come on. You don't have to go to the floor, but if you can, go for it. Okay, just make sure you don't stop and round your back. Fifteen, come on, come on. Dig the heels in. Two, good. Now, if you can keep that same weight for the step ups, let's go for it. All right, remember, this is about control. Three, let's go. Find a spot, either on the ground diagonal or straight in front of you, watch it. Twenty. Uh, 
nine. And breathe, all right. Other side, you can see I move to kind of a back rack position. If your grip gets tired, that's a great alternative. Ready, big deep breath out, two, one. Come on, let's finish this circuit out strong. Then we move into core. Last half right here. One more, come on, three, two, and 30 seconds rest. Beautiful work. Go ahead and grab your sweat towel, head down to the floor. You can move your bench. We've got sit-ups, sit-up and twist, and leg raises. I want you to use a weight with your sit-ups if you have one and if you can, okay? If you're ready for that. If you're not ready for that, use it to help you get up and then use it on the way down to control that resistance and build that strength that way. Let's go. Good job. Resistance on top if you can. One more, three. Good job, rest. Now we take it to a bow tie hold, so you're holding the edges of the dumbbell if you can. If not, you're just here. Sit up, twist, sit up, twist. Let's go in three. Exhale, come on. Great job. Before you get all the way to the top, start your twist. Last one, two, breathe. All right, leg raises, hands gonna go under your tailbone. Okay, keep your tailbone nice and flat. This little crunch up top will also help. Drop one leg if you need to. Let's go. So this is also just as challenging. If you need this option, go here. Crunch up, drive the back down. Forty-five seconds. So control the pace. Twenty. Ten. Two. Amazing. All right, let's go. Round two. Setups. Weight on top of your chest if you are able. Four, two, ah, come on.
And if you get more out of just a crunch, challenge yourself to go with a weighted crunch. Okay, up and up. Okay, I've heard people say they get a little bit more connection with that. Four. And rest. And if you're someone who prefers the crunch, for this one, I do want you to sit up a little more. Okay, little twist at the top. Ready? Two, one, come on. Good job. 15. Four. Breathe. Good job. All right, another option for the leg raises is to take your tailbone to the edge of a bench. You'll be able to drop your legs a little lower. Okay, so that's a step up option. Two, let's go. What do you do if you feel this mostly in your hip flexors? Bring your feet back over your hips to get them nice and flat, just low. For that one, drive your glutes down into the floor and your tailbone specifically. Okay, a little crunch up always helps me. You're gonna feel it a little bit in your hip flexors, but if your abs are turned off, let's try that. And rest, you're done with two rounds. Let's finish off this third one, okay? Push yourself here, fight against the resistance. Ready? Two. Let's go. Four. Rest. Good job. We should be getting to the point of almost failing. We're pushing into failure for these reps. Okay, you're doing great. Sit up and twist. Two. Let's go. Come on, 20. Leg raises, we'll close it out and then we'll move on to a glute bridge circuit with an ab burner at the end. Exercise will be for your core, okay? Lift it up, two, one, go.
Come on. 15. Seven. Couple more. Come on, come on. Don't stop. Give me one more. And breathe. You got 30 seconds to get set up for circuit number three. Glute bridges or hip thrusts if you want to put your shoulder blades on the bench. Then glute bridge abduction. So you're driving your knees out at the top of the bridge, then jackknives. Okay? So I'm going to go with my medium band for round one. I'm going to keep shoulder blades on the ground. Full range of motion. Are you ready? Three. Let's go. go you're doing good nine two and rest good job now we go glute bridge abduction so the whole point here is to get up and then drive it to the side I'm gonna drop the weight since we'll be spending a bit more time up top let's go in two one come on Drive it out. Two, one, good. Dumbbells out of the way. Glute band off if you have one on. And we're going jackknives. Two legs together will be the most difficult option. One at a time is also a more approachable option. Three, two, here we go. Four. Breathe, and we're back to glute bridges. All right, grab that heavy weight again. Six. Two. Let's go. Good job. Now, to advance this, you can keep this heavy weight on or you could switch to a heavier band. Okay, I know last time I went a bit too light, so I'm going to keep my same weight for the abductions. Ready? Let's go.
Good, spend just a couple seconds up top with that abduction. And then one more round of all three. Guys, you can absolutely tell if you're going a little bit too easy on yourself right here. All right, let's go hard for the last four rounds of work. Here we go. Second half, come on. Nine. One more. Good. Rest, and we hit one more round of each. Seven. You ready? Let's go. If your legs are pretty close together and pretty close to your glutes, this is gonna feel sort of like a coasting exercise, okay? Widen them out just a touch and take them about two inches away from your glutes right now. Now go. Dig your heels in, come on. That's it. Less rest at the bottom. Up, two, down, two, up, two. Come on. Two, and breathe. Try and keep the same weight. Maybe you can go up in resistance for these abductions. Ready? Oh, I'm over time. Come on, knock it out. Get up there, drive it out. Dig your heels down hard. That's it, come on, 15. Last bit of glute work, go hard. Keep the knees out, eight, seven. And rest, I'm gonna go one more rep because I started a second late. All right. Jack knives. Here we go, let's close it out with 45 really good seconds together. Ready? Exhale, two, one. Come on, come on, 20. hands and knees, big deep breath in, let your spine relax, take your hips left and right, beautiful work today, let's cool it down so you can head into the rest of this day feeling good, drop your hips down, 
Open your chest up. Good work today. I hope with the longer work periods, fewer exercises, you were able to focus in and get good quality reps today. My mission is always for you to feel the mind-muscle connection, but then after that, it's not only important that you feel it, but you push it to failure. Okay, toes down, hips up. Drive your heels down to the floor. Mind-muscle connection is your starting point. It's your foundation, okay? It's like the foundation of a house. It has to be there for everything else moving forward to be effective. Walk back to your toes for me, but don't just settle for, okay, I can feel it, right? Coming up to standing. When you feel it, move forward from there. And don't just think about feeling a squeeze or a burn. Feel about, think about feeling resistance, okay? Pushing your glutes to that point where you don't think you can lift them anymore off the ground. Taking your deadlifts to the point where you think, I have to squeeze as hard as I possibly can to get back up and not lose my form. All right, feet together, reach down. That's gonna change the game for you. That's progressive overload. That's how we see changes in our body and the way that we are strong and show up here. Bend and roll it up, nice and slow. It's not just about the feeling, especially when you wanna feel stronger. You wanna see the weights that you're using increase. You wanna feel your body composition changing. You wanna be more confident in everything that you do. You have to push to that point of, I don't know if I can or not, but I'm gonna try anyways. In fitness and in life. So, all those things that you're doubting right now, who knows? Maybe the doubt is just a whole big wall that you put up to protect yourself, but jump over it, okay? Plow through it, go for it, drive to the things that you want or the things that might push you. It's uncomfortable, but it is so, so worth it. I'm very proud of you and I believe in you fully. I believe in your ability to handle failure. I believe in your ability to take risks. I believe in your ability to grow from those risks that you take, okay? You're always gonna benefit in some way when you push yourself to the next level of you. So I'll see you back here for our next workout. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you comment what you're pushing yourself towards right now. I'm very interested to hear it. And more importantly, I want you to see that written out, typed out. I am working for this. Solidify it in your mind. Take action after this. I'll see you for our next one. Great job today.